For the first time this season inside the State Champs Network studio here from the Oakland Press. And you can also read his stuff at our website, statechampsnetwork.com. Scott Bernstein sits at the desk with us for the Inside Buzz. And let's not waste any time. The rumors started on Monday, and those of us who were high school football fans had one of those what moments because should it all work out, an Oakland County football team just went from good to scary good in an instant. Scott, break it down. All right, I'm here with the 411. It is true, Malik McDowell from Detroit Loyola, arguably the state's number one college football recruit, has left the Bulldogs and he will be playing somewhere else next year as a senior. Rumors are flying that it will possibly be Southfield out in the suburbs and that uh, Mr. McDowell will be teaming with Lawrence Marshall of the Blue Jays to give them one very dynamic defensive end tandem, possibly the best in the whole Midwest, definitely the best in the country when you have two high recruits on the defensive line like that. Uh, McDowell, 30 sacks in the last two years, averaged about 65 tackles, took the Loyola Bulldogs to the Division Seven state championship game last year. Just a menace uh, re being recruited across the board, Alabama, Florida, Notre Dame, USC, and uh, he will not be at Loyola. That's a definite. That news broke this week. Rumors are it could be a possible disciplinary issue that got him out of there. But what we know for sure is that he won't be there next year. He'll be somewhere else next year. And it's a good chance it will be with the Blue Jays and a good chance that uh, you will be having quite the uh, uh, feast of, uh, of, uh, of quarter, uh, quarterback feast going on with uh, Lawrence Marshall and uh, uh, Malik McDowell if they do both end up at Southfield next year. No question. This is a very fluid situation, folks, and Scott will keep us updated at statechampsnetwork.com. And should everything shake out, and Malik is a Blue Jay, Friday night, August 30th, Wayne State University, prep kickoff classic, 7 p.m., Southfield versus Cass Tech. What was already a great matchup just became epic. Now, well, I know that we'll see you there. We'll be there. Scott's got some other things that uh, he's burning on. We take this conversation online at statechampsnetwork.com. Give the folks just a quick preview of what we're discussing. I think we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Farmington Hills Mercy. Their girls softball are, are hitting home runs like their names are uh, Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. We got uh, uh, the Detroit PSL basketball taking a little bit of a downfall than where it used to be and uh, talking a little about Brother Rice baseball. Absolutely, and also Cullen Prenna. We want to definitely talk Don't about that. Don't forget about Mr. Prenna. Go to statechampsnetwork.com and click on the buzz to check it out. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Here's this week's Twitter Fan Buzz Question of the Week. What's your opinion on transfers and when they should be eligible for sports at their new school? Provide your answer using the hashtag Fan Buzz, and one of you will win free state champ stuff. Congrats to last week's winner, Shane Hines. We'll be in touch.